Hello! Today I'd like to talk about the most profitable public event out there. That's Eviction Notice. It's tough to do properly without a lot of high level players, and it's tough to avoid dying as a low level player. But if you can't survive, this is the event that gives you by far the most legendaries in the game. As before, if you're not across the basics, make sure to understand concepts like tagging. I discussed them in the video for Radiation Rumble if you need a refresher. Eviction Notice takes place at a Foundation Outpost. It's a settler equivalent of Moonshine Jamboree and it's great for getting reputation. This time there's only a single rat scrubber to protect, but the enemies are far tougher than the gulpers. There's lots more of them and they shoot back at you. The event starts with a 5 minute timer for you to enter the center of the outpost. Most other events have you talking to someone to start them, but with eviction notice, you just have to enter the location. The problem is that the objective area is big. It's very easy to start the event without meaning to. This is really bad, because you really need a fair number of high level players to even have a chance to succeed. If you're one of the first to arrive, do not move towards the outpost marker. I repeat, do not move towards the outpost. But the most likely scenario when you arrive is that someone already has done just that. The second step in the event is to repair the rat scrubber within the next couple of minutes. We can already hear the super mutants firing away nearby. I'm pretty sure it was this guy who started the event. Bad Frank, no soup for you. This bowl is where the event takes place. There's plenty of places to stay high, especially if you have a jetpack. The scrubber is located in the center of the bowl, but the entire area is filled with radiation. Uh, basically, throughout the event, super mutants will make a beeline to the scrubber and try to destroy it. They tend to come from two main directions. And yes, they're tanky like hell. If you see someone standing over the scrubber and it looks like they're trying to repair it, do not walk close to them. That might reset the progress bar. This also applies to daily operations and any other activity where you have to activate something. Give them space. Repairing the scrubber the first time starts the event proper. The optional goal is to destroy six meat bags around the bowl. They're typically hung on posts like that, but some are concealed. This time it doesn't look like anybody else is looking for them. Most people are taking up positions on the high ground. You'll need something pretty powerful if you want to actually kill anything. Power armor is definitely recommended too, especially for the radiation shielding. For newbies, again, just focus on tagging and try and stay alive. Stay on the perimeter and be ready to move away if the scrubber breaks. Yeah, I hold grudges, Frank. I've done this event many many times, but to be honest, before this recording, I didn't know the location of most of the bags. Usually the event is well underway by the time I arrive, and all the bags are gone already. It's generally a good idea to stay out of the center of the bowl. If the rat scrubber breaks down, the entire area will be covered in massive amounts of radiation. And I mean massive, even if you're wearing power armor, it's pretty bad. Someone will then have to go and repair it. For anybody else, take out any mutants that might shoot them and reset the progress bar. This event is great for picking up miniguns and minigun ammo if you need either. I usually come out with a few thousand extra ammo even though I'm using a minigun. Looks like most of the other players are fairly low level, so maybe it's harsh to judge them. Except that guy, not sure why he's not helping to find the last bag. Yeah, please don't be like this guy. He had a bag right behind him and could have easily destroyed it. Anyway, that's all six bags gone. The mission objectives won't change, but now you'll get a whole lot more legendary super mutants spawning. Over there is the second main spawning point for super mutants. And you can see the legendaries starting to spawn in already. This little passage is where two or three legendaries will spawn continuously for the rest of the event. Expect to get fully over encumbered. And the performance of the game will visibly suffer because there's so many enemies and so many explosions going off. The worst enemies are the fire starters. Firstly, they're tanky like nothing else. And secondly, they do fire damage. Fire bypasses most armor types, so expect to take a lot of damage. I haven't confirmed this, but people say it's a bad idea to stand in the actual passage because it delays the super mutant respawn. Well done, Frank. If you've got a long range weapon, then a spot like this is very good. 
Mutants will spawn just beyond that barricade and will come around to attack you, though sometimes they get stuck on the spikes. That's the other spot where the legendary spawn, and they aren't there. Make sure to keep an eye on the scrubber and any mutants that might have leaked through. There's a good guy looking after the scrubber. It seems that we have a good number of high level players now and all the mutants are being taken care of. But if we had less players, then it's possible to get swarmed because the spawn rate is so high. Yeah, look at my health when he hits me with fire. No shame in hiding from the fire starters to heal. There's a mutant stack on the spikes. I like to patrol around this area to keep an eye on the legendary spawning ground and the spawn point behind the barricade. It's generally a good idea for people to spread out and guard small parts of the perimeter because the spawn rate is high enough to keep you busy. First time seeing a legendary fire starter and that's the stuff of nightmares. Yeah, it's entirely possible to die in this event. The mission will succeed once the timer goes to zero. This mission is guaranteed to give you a unique legendary. The six options, and this time I got the Toned Death, a fast melee unarmed weapon. The two best weapons are the explosive minigun I was using, called Foundation's Vengeance and crowd control, an explosive shotgun. This minigun was my first really good weapon and if you're lacking in firepower, do this event as much as possible until you get it. Having that first good weapon will make it easier to get more and better weapons. Aside from that, there's also a super sledge, a healing sniper and a black powder pistol. They're all right, but not as good at killing things, which is what you need early on. If you go back to the outpost, you'll see our raised platform with a flag there's a number of workbenches that you can use to scrap junk and repair any worn down gear. You can also come back the way we went in initially. You're also supposed to get reputation with the settler faction, but I've already maxed mine so you won't see the prompt. When you hit max reputation, the settlers give you access to the Gorth shotgun plans. Because we fought a bunch of super mutants, we've picked up a bunch of mutant weapons. This event is particularly good for unlocking the mods for miniguns. Here's the Foundation's Vengeance. It comes with a shredder by default, but I've modded that out. And you can see that my ammo went up quite a bit. This event is a great source of minigun ammo. Here's Crowd Control. It also has a custom paint job. I've also got a highly modded one, but the mods are pretty heavy, so I carried the default one instead to save on weight. It's great for tagging, so the damage it does is not that important. There's a stash in the room below this level. But one of the big negatives about this event is that there's no legendary exchange nearby, which is particularly noticeable because you're very likely to have too many legendaries. If you happen to have a full stash, then you might well have to dump a bunch of 1 star legendaries in order to fast travel. Aside from that minor inconvenience, this event is well worth doing, especially if you're just starting to gear up. Eviction Notice is a challenging but very rewarding event. It's not as easy to stay alive in as the other events I've covered previously, but it's easily the best source of legendaries. There's a good chance you'll get an excellent unique weapon, get a reputation with a settler faction and really upgrade your character.
Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified when new videos come out. See you soon.